Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the latest episode on the Scan Tool Network. Uh, as you can see by the title of this video, we are looking at the iCarsoft POR version 2.0 kit and it's really a video, everything you need to know and the top 21 questions that um, may give you extra information that you didn't already know about this tool and ultimately for you to decide whether this tool is suitable for your needs and whether this is the, uh, the correct diagnostic scan tool for yourself. Um, so we'll get into the top 21 questions. Uh, number one is, well, what is the tool in a nutshell? It's uh, multi-system scan tool designated or designed for Porsche cars. Uh, it does cover other cars as well, I'll get to that in a moment, but primarily it's just for Porsche and it's going to allow you to uh, diagnose all of the main systems in your vehicle like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission and reset the fault codes on screen in the ECU, reset the warning lights on the dashboard here. Again we'll get to that as we get into the unit. So, uh, where to buy this tool? Where should you buy this tool from? Well, if you want to pick up a genuine diagnostic tool, if you want to pick up it, there are fakes and there are clones on the market, but if you do want to get a genuine POR version 2.0 kit, we'd recommend, uh, I'll put the links in the description below this video. The first place is Diagnostic World. It's www.diagnostic-world.com. I'll also put the link to the uh, the Amazon listing, a genuine Amazon listing as well, because um, as I say, there are fakes, there are clones on the market, but if you want to make sure you get a genuine tool then these are the two places that we would uh, seriously recommend so how much is the tool well it depends where you go this tool right now at diagnostic world as I mentioned it is 149 pounds prices are subject to change though so when you click on that link it might be a little bit different but please go ahead and share, have a look so it's it's 149 pounds last I seen on Amazon I think it was about 165 pounds and in the US it was something like 170 dollars Obviously, it all depends on your, your location. Uh, but yeah, so that's the price of the tool. And how is it powered? Is another question we get. It's not, it doesn't have an internal battery. Uh, what you'll see is if I just unclip this bat this cable here, this cable is connected to, to the diagnostic port of the vehicle. So it takes its power from the, the, uh, the battery of the car via the diagnostic port. So when I plug this back in, you will see that it then regains its power. You can screw these little screws in just to give it a solid connection and then the screen comes alive. Uh, what manufacturers are covered with this tool? Well, as I said earlier, it's just Porsche manufacturers for the main systems like the engines, the airbags, ABS, transmission, service resets. However, it does have an option here, OBD2 and EOBD, this will allow you to diagnose engine fault codes on other makes and models as well. So if you had a BMW or Mercedes with an engine fault, you could use this option here to actually uh, diagnose that fault. Uh, what systems are covered? Well, before I get to that, what I want to do is just turn off the beeping noise on this tool because it can get a little bit annoying and it just makes the whole experience a lot better. So what, uh, what systems are covered? It really depends on your vehicle. Uh, newer vehicles have more electronic systems in them, so you're gonna the tool is going to cover more more systems on the newer vehicles, as opposed to the older older cars like the 996 or the 986. But in the older cars, you know you're still going to get the main systems like the engines, the airbags, the ABS, the transmission. But let's go to this Cayenne and just show you which systems are included. So we've got a list of 41 systems here. Um, we've got the engine, the transmission, PSM, which is the ABS, the airbags, and then we've got a whole range of other systems, which probably aren't as important as the uh, the main four, but still important systems. If you if you have, obviously have a fault on one of these. It all depends really as well if that system is, is installed to the vehicle as well. So those are the systems and what about the special functions? You will notice from the main screen there is another option called service. These are, these are also called special functions uh, and again it depends on the vehicle. For example we've got DPF here, well this is a diesel particulate regeneration section. Now that's going to be no good if you've got a 911 because the 911s aren't diesel. Uh, but Ultimately, you've got the oil service reset, you've got electronic park and brake, new battery registration, electronic throttle calibration, steering angle sensor, DPF, ABS brake bleeding, and injector coding. Again, though, it really depends on the vehicle. These don't work for all vehicles. It depends on what systems are installed to certain vehicles. But ultimately, if your vehicle does have it installed, it should work on that vehicle. 
Now, what information does it give with regards to a fault when you get one? So we've got a check engine light on this screen and we're gonna use this to uh, demonstrate that. Just gonna show you. So we'll click onto KM, which is our vehicle. We're gonna manually select the engine system and we're gonna go in and read the fault codes. So it's giving us a P010400 hot film mass airflow sensor, no signal. So that's the type of information. You're gonna get a unique fault code. You're gonna get a description of the fault code. Even if you don't really know what that means, copy that information into a Google search engine. The chances are if you've got that fault, there will be thousands of other who've also had that fault and you will find the answer and what the problem is there and then. And once you've done that, once you've actually fixed the fault, so let's say for example, you had to put a new MAF sensor in, uh, you click on clear fault memory. This is gonna erase the fault codes and when I click okay here or enter, just keep one eye on the check engine light. There we go, that's gone off and it's got a raise operation done right there. So that's the type of information you are likely to see uh, when you do get a fault code. Uh, is it touch screen is a question that we get quite a lot. It's not a touch screen. It may give the impression that it's a touch screen because of the, the app style uh, menu system, but no, it's not a touch screen. You need to use the side toggle buttons. How much are updates? Updates for this tool and all, PO, all V2.0 tools from iCarsoft, they are free for life. Some diagnostic tools, uh, such as Autel, they may charge you, well, you'll get free updates for the first year, and then after that, they may charge you a yearly subscription, like 100 pounds or something. But with these tools, you're always gonna get free updates. Uh, next question is, how does this compare to the version 1.0 kit? Well, the version 1.0 kit, I've also done a video on that, so check that video out if you wish. But that will, uh, that is, the, the 1.0 kit is cheaper than the 2.0, but you get extra functions. So the, these, this is the only difference between the version one and the version two. This section here, the diagnostics, so to go in and diagnose all of your main faults, all of your systems, and get, a, uh, get the fault codes, erase warning lights, that remains the same on the version 1.0 and the version 2.0. As I say, the service section is what separates the two tools. Obviously, they, they visually look different as well, but these, with regards to the software, it's software for these systems, which is different. Okay, and what else have we got here? Uh, can you get help and support? Well, you can get help and support from the people you bought it from, so you need to contact your supplier directly. So if you've, so if you've bought it from Diagnostic World, then speak to Diagnostic World. They will give you your uh, help and support, but you will need to supply them with your order number to get help and support. If you bought it from Amazon, who knows? Um, they may not have a clue. That's the trouble with our Amazon sellers. They generally don't have a clue about the product. So uh, that's why I'd recommend going with somebody like Diagnostic World who know this stuff. Uh, can you print faults with this? You can't print directly from this. You can't hook it directly up to a printer, but you can uh, save the information. You can, uh, uh, sorry, record the information. You can save it to an SD card, which is right under there. And uh, then you can transfer this information to a computer then print it. It's a little bit long-winded but ultimately you could do it but it doesn't have a designated printer you can't link it to a printer directly unfortunately. Uh, languages on this tool is another question we get. We go into the setup and we can straight away go into the language section so we've got English, German, Dutch, French, Spanish. And what about the box? What's in the box? Well this is the box here it's quite a nice looking box actually as boxes go it's a nice box so that's that's the box itself and then inside the box you've obviously got your scan tool your, your connection cable you've got a nice carry pouch as well so you don't always have to use the box you've got a USB cable you've got a user manual and a little plug to cover the end of the uh, the OBD2 port connector cable so that's what you get inside the box is it easy to use well you've seen me basically you know, going through the whole process of diagnosing a fault. And it's very easy to understand. You, at no point are you left thinking, well, which, which one should I select? Because you've got to select your vehicle. You know, then you, you can either choose a smart scan, which lets the tool scan the car itself, or you can manually select the system. So this, say a 911, 991, for example, you'd get 29 options, but you'd still get the main systems, engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, and then all of the other systems as well. So it is very easy to use and I would 
recommend it to somebody who has little or zero experience because you can't just plug this tool straight in and you can start using it straight away and you know you can learn from it and get information from it uh, that you never knew existed uh, what else have we got now we've got what about oh, what about the other icons so we've covered that we've covered that let's have a look at the voltage gives you minimums and maximums and live data from the battery so it's it's going to give you a, uh, an indication of what the condition of the battery is like um, as I say this one will allow you to diagnose and reset engine fault codes on other makes and models we've got a review section so you can review fault codes that you previously uh, diagnosed but you do need to be recording them uh, DT or, or live data as well DTC lookup it's basically a, a library of fault codes you could put something in so you could go P0301 I know from memory I think this is an ignition coil cylinder 1 cylinder 1 misfire so it basically it's going to give you the uh, the fault code and the uh, description of the fault setup you can go in and just clear data put the unit of measure the language do a factory reset you can uh, it's help section is not really that helpful to be honest it just gives you a little bit of information about what OBD2 and EOBD is what it stands for and the about gives you serial numbers UID codes firmware software um, current data so uh, does it does it double up as a tablet as well as another question because it kind of does give that appearance no it does not it doesn't double up as a tablet once you use this tool only to diagnose faults you can't load any other apps on it or anything like that and uh, the final question is how fast is delivery delivery is very fast well we think it is anyway uh, from the point of order if you're ordering it from diagnostic world you're generally going to get it uh, within two to three working days um, if you're ordering from Amazon you might get it quicker if you've got an Amazon Prime account but in our experience you're probably gonna it's probably gonna be the same two to three working days on Amazon as well so it all, it all really depends on what your preference is but as I say uh, the links in the description below the video will only give you genuine uh, take it to genuine products you can either get it from diagnostic world it's www.diagnostic-world.com or you can uh, go and click on the Amazon link as well and that will take you to the product on Amazon whatever is best for yourself um, it's all about you at the end of the day and the experience that you're going to get with using this tool but I certainly would recommend it I would recommend it for any Porsche owner it doesn't matter whether you've got an old 911 like a 996 uh, right through to the current model the 99 well not the 992 because they're still working on the software for the 992 but everything in between uh, and the Boxers and the Caymans, Cayennes, Panameras, Macans, even if you've got a Spider 918, this tool is going to be suitable for that. Uh, if anyone's lucky enough to own one of those. I've actually driven one of those cars actually and it's, it's a really good car, as you would expect for over a million pounds. Um, so thank you very much for watching this Scan Tool Network. I hope you've uh, enjoyed this video. I hope you've taken something from this video and uh, we'll see you next time where we will have more Porsche diagnostic packages up for review. I'll see you soon.